Hey Stampers, do you ever get on a kick of knowing exactly what you're excited about when you see it and then kind of repeating similar variations of it because you're so excited about the idea? Well, that's me and our black and white theme and I realized I got up this morning and I put on a black and white top. So, you know, it just kind of goes through everything. Um, but I did want to uh, say hello, I'm Meg from Love and Stamps and this is Maker Mornings with Meg. And to introduce the stamp set that we're gonna use, which is Butterfly Brilliance. So if you saw the photo book that we did um, a week ago or last week, this fun one here, um, you can check this out. It was, I think, episode 187 maybe. And uh, we're gonna do a card version of that because I'm so excited about the black and white, but we're gonna switch up the paper. So uh, last time we used the, here I'll show you the back side of it, that grayscale paper um, that's so pretty. This is one of the celebration treats that's available um, free with $50 order, but only until the end of September. So today we're gonna to use a different black and white paper. And this one is available um, for the whole year when the Stampin' Up! catalog changes out in uh, end of May next year, it'll go. But this one is the black and white um, pattern party designer series paper. So um, I'll show you a little bit more about this when we get going on it, but it is um, all gorgeous um, colors on one side and all black and white choices, which is fabulous on the back side. So, all right, morning, hey Carol and Trish and Teresa and Elaine, Margie, good to see you guys. So, all right, I am going to flip our camera down and we will get started with our crafting here. I um, hope everybody had a great weekend. Ours was um, extremely fun. We had cross country, we had marching band, we had a football game to watch, we had um, soccer games. It was it was just a blast all around. So um, kind of nice to be uh, to be back in gear on a lot of things. So all right. So starting point, um, we're going to use as our card base a piece of thick whisper white, which is um, my go-to when I'm using a white card base because it's a little bit heavier than the regular. Just remember, you want to score this um, with a trimmer or a scoring tool so that you get a nice uh, crease in the center. And then, of course, you can always, I almost never use them, but you could use your bone folder. Um, on the thick card stock, sometimes it's nice to just get a great crease. There we go. All right, so we have our card base. And then we're gonna come back um, and pick from these fabulous papers. So um, there are so many great choices. Um, and we're going to go ahead and layer. So here's kind of two um, different ideas, the stripe and then this fun um, pattern here. And let's see, so there's their backside. So we're gonna layer these here. But you guys probably know, if you've watched my videos, you know what I'm gonna do. Morning, Angela. Um, I always want to add a layer of basic black under here to just set that off. So look at how much of a difference, oops, that was, let's try scoring that one. Um, let's see how much of a difference that makes. So here's sort of the without and here's the with. And when I slide that under there, then really um, those pop. They're really um, helped by having that extra black color under there. So let's go with um, this one and we'll take a look at what the other one's gonna look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and just um, seal this down with my Stampin' Seal and get it centered. Now, if you're looking for sizing, um, these are actually cut to three and three quarters by five. Um, which is sort of the um, sort of extra small size. And then the black layer um, for these is cut um, just an eighth of an inch bigger. So um, you can set your ruler to three and three quarters and then add an eighth of an inch. And then the other one set to um, five inches and add an eighth of an inch. Um, or you could, you know, do the math. Just depends how you like to do your calculating. Okay, so then this is gonna go on here, but I'm not gonna attach this yet because we have something we're gonna do to the inside of this that I wanna save for later. Okay, so, hey Pam, thanks for sharing. Good morning, Kay. Uh, I'm gonna pop in um, some pieces for this. So, I told you we're gonna use Butterfly Brilliance um, for our stamp set. So I have this mounted, and last week um, I did these in color. So I used the grayscale paper, and then I had punches of color, but we're gonna do a different version um, that I actually, totally love, um, it's so striking. And so instead of that pink, 
we're going to use the Memento Black. Now, if you aren't aware of the differences between um, the Stampin' Pads, here I'll show you that, and the Memento Pad, um, they're both water-based, but the surface is different. And if you have both of these and you look at them, you'll notice that the Memento Black is covered with a fabric layer and the other classic pads are a firm foam pad without fabric on top. Now, when you're inking stamps, when you have a foam pad, just think about the fact that there's no like protective layer over that foam, so you only want to tap, just dab down on that, okay? But when you are using the fabric um, covered pads like Memento, that fabric is an extra strong layer that protects the top of that ink pad. Um, and so when you use this, you actually um, are wanna use a twist, tap, tap method. Twist, twist, tap, tap. Twist, twist, tap, tap. Now, review, let's review. Do not twist with your foam pads because if you think about it, that foam's gonna twist and get torn. When you have a fabric pad like Memento, twist, twist, tap, tap is the go-to, okay? So I'm gonna get that really nicely inked and then grab a piece of basic white cardstock here and slide this on. I'm gonna use my magnet. I talked about the Stamparatus last week, so I'll kind of skip over some of those details, but if you're new to Stamparatus, you can go back and check those. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stand up for a second and just press down on this so that I get a really nice image. Although, with my paper magneted, I could open it up and see that there's something missing and then re-ink and go from there, so. There are our gorgeous butterflies, super beautiful um, images in this stamp set. So, all right, we're gonna set that aside, but we're gonna come back to it uh, in a bit. Okay, so I have my um, butterflies done here, and then we have the um, butterfly brilliant wings dies that match. So there's this one die here that's ginormous and uh, covers everything, so it lines up like this and you run it through and it cuts all those butterflies in one giant fell swoop, which is super exciting. And then um, there are also dies here um, on the back side of this, these little guys and the um, detailed ones. And you can overlay these because they, they're the same size, but we're gonna use the stamped images, but we are gonna come back to these little ones. So stay tuned for that, because they're gonna be part of our finished product. All right, so after I die cut, I always save. Um, my butterflies because usually you end up with more than you um, needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. I just put them in a um, clear envelope uh, and keep them in my stamp case to keep them safe. I'll set that aside. And then they're ready to go for the next time you wanna make a card. So we are going to, um, let's kind of layer these out here. I think I want a biggish one up here and maybe a smallish one down here. And we're gonna go with um, Biggest Wish, which is also the greeting that I used last time, but we're gonna use it a little differently. So this one I used with spread words, and this matches lots of different styles because it's got a script and a, um, a sans serif font, which it just really extends how many different stamp set styles you can use it with. So we're gonna use that, and one of the dies from Stitch So Sweetly, I know you think I'm gonna go for those rectangles, because I always do, but I'm not. I'm gonna go for one of these shapes, um, which just make this um, Stitch So Sweetly set a giant workhorse for me. So um, they have funky shapes, and they have sort of standard rectangles. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull this one out. And um, let's see, I die cut this from Basic White through the magic of television, is all done for us. And so let's pull in our stamps. So I have my um, Smoky Slate and my uh, Memento Black. And let's see, I'm gonna bring in our cards here. We're gonna do a happy birthday this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink up happy. And it fits kind of in one spot here um, towards the center of this die cut piece there, very nice. And then I'm going to um, use my mental black. And remember, did you notice on this one, I just tapped, I did not twist at all. But on our fabric covered pad, we're gonna twist, twist, tap, tap. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp this on here. One of the great things about photopolymers that you can see through. So now we have our greeting. All right, so let's kind of slide this in here. I think um, kind of down here like this maybe. All right, so we've got our black and white, but the formula is black and white with a pop of color, right? 
So let's figure out um, what we're gonna do for our color. And when I was working on this card, I thought, oh wait, we have all that gorgeous pattern party paper. And I should have said before, um, so I'll mention it now, this paper is actually um, a um, item that you can get with your Stampin' Rewards. So it's not, you can't just order it anytime, um, but if you have a larger order, um, that earns stamp rewards, so an order over $150. Here's the little table. Um, there you go. Um, because you can basically uh, earn your stamp rewards here um, with your order, whether you're ordering online or you're ordering from me directly, um, you earn these once your order crosses 150. Um, or if you host a party and the party orders total more than 150, then this is one of the things you can get. So it is, you'll see here in the thing, it says $18 because Stampin' Rewards are um, done sort of at a really like excellent bonus, thanks for either your large order or hosting a party um, kind of pricing, but it's a $30 value because there are um, 48 sheets of paper in this pack. So um, they will last you a long time and they have these fabulous other solidish color options for designs on the back. So let's pull in, I think, the bumblebee for this card. And we're gonna use a couple of these. Now, usually my go-to is kind of to extend this way, but I didn't wanna compete with those stripes. So let's look at flipping it this way. Uh, hey, Lois. Hey, Taryn. Uh, let's look at flipping these strips this way and popping them on here, um, kind of like so, and we'll trim the bottom there, so that those kind of come together. Um, and then I wanted to add something a little bit more. And I, I told you we're gonna use these little dies which are from the same die set um, as our large butterfly frame. And so um, these guys, I thought, you know, it'd be really pretty to get a little bit of that sparkle paper from the um, holiday catalog, the July to December catalog in there. And since we're black and white, it's a good match. So cut, die cut these two little butterflies from here and we get these two sparkly, blingy, um, extra pieces to match. So woohoo for some fun bling, right? So let's see, maybe we'll pop one down here and one over here. Um, okay, so this is a good start. We have another embellishment coming that is like my favorite trick for this, but um, let's go ahead and put some of these together. And I sometimes get questions from people like, okay, so you get your card laid out, but then how do you get it all to go together the way you want. So I'm gonna show you a trick for this. Um, since I had that all composed like artistically, um, I'm going to keep these exactly where they are and I'm going to just pop them down with some Stampin' Dimensionals here. So those are gonna be hidden here, um, but they also mean that, that paper, those paper strips, I don't have to worry about taking them up and then having to figure out where I put them before um, I am gonna trim them just a little here at the bottom. Let's see, one, and then maybe this one a little longer. There we go. Actually, okay, I have to make them two different sizes uh, clearly, because if they're close, then it just looks like a mistake. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay, so now I can pull these dimensionals off the backings and put our greeting down. All right, so what do you guys think? Black and white and yellow? I posted a question the other day on the um, Love and Stamps Facebook page about what everybody's favorite um, black and white uh, color pop is. So, all right, so then our butterfly here is going to um, kind of go up here towards the top and I'm gonna leave it to overlap the um, edge there. So I kind of like the way that goes over. And then I'm gonna pop one on down here. So lots of people were black and white and pink. Um, and I asked this question in a, a demonstrator forum too. So it's kind of fun to see everybody's responses. All right, and then just um, these I want to be flat. So I'm gonna pop a teeny bit of green lid glue on there, or sorry, multi-purpose liquid adhesive. Um, and remember, if you can see the glue, it is enough. So you don't need to glob it on, okay? And then um, let's go back and add one more embellishment to that. And this will be uh, a fun trick if you haven't seen it before. First of all, open your pastel pearls um, by just cutting along the side of the package so you can easily pull them out um, rather than always having to open them from the back and then that little um, piece is always sticking to things that you don't want. But we're gonna take these, which don't match our card, and I'm gonna pull in my Daffodil Delight 
um, Stampin' Blends because these markers are alcohol markers and you can use them to color on non-porous surfaces like pearls. So I'm gonna grab my darker of the two and I'm going to just run that around um, there. I'm gonna color all the way to the base of the pearl so I don't have any pink showing through and then give those a second to dry. And they're super striking, right? Here, I'll give you a, a little bit of a closer up look. That color is really nice and you can use the Stampin' Blends then to match um, anything that you're trying to do. So, oh, Lisa says she cased Friday's project over the weekend. That is a great weekend. I'm so glad, Lisa. I'm so glad. All right, so now let's pull um, some of these off. We've given them a second to dry and I think I'm gonna pop maybe one down here. And maybe we'll pop one kind of up here and one here. I think rather than putting it on, I'm gonna extend our, our visual field a little bit by putting it off on the background paper. Okay, now I promised you were gonna do something with the inside of this card. And that was why I hadn't mounted the other pieces yet. So let's get back to that. But I love this for the front, for the pop, right? I'm gonna show you um, a couple more examples, <coughs> excuse me, um, of this kind of situation here before we're done. So stay tuned for that too. But all right, so what I really want is butterflies here on the inside of our card. So I pulled up my Stamparatus and the problem is that I need them to be down here. So I really need this part of my <laughs> butterfly field, but um, my Stamparatus where the stamp is mounted isn't in the right place. So you could, um, try switching it, right? Because that hinge goes also in here. Just have it vertical and you can pull it up. So let's see, I could do this, but then my card here is still um, getting trapped by the top of the Stamparatus. So um, then all I'm gonna do is just take this off and use this like a giant block. So if you have a Stamparatus, this giant plate is good for lots of things and you don't always have to use it in the frame, okay? So again, with our fabric pad, remember what's our, our ink application with a fabric pad, a fabric covered pad, tis tis tap tap. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink that up. And then I'm gonna set my card here. I'm gonna fold it flat again because I don't want it to move while I'm stamping. i get some of my things out of the way. And then I can reach any part of my um, card that I want to to go ahead and stamp, okay? So these plates, great things, lots of purposes. Think about using them outside the outside the box, outside the Stamparatus, okay? Um, because you never, never wanna limit yourself. Use your tools wisely to come up with cool ideas, okay? So there's our inside of our card. Here is the front of our card, which I will um, just do a quick glue on here. I love you can see the glue so easily on the, uh, on the basic black cardstock. The link is in the video description for all of the products that I'm using. So if you wanted to recreate this and you need some supplies, that's a great place to shop. And oh, remember if you um, if you aren't ordering at least $150, then you'll wanna use the hostess code um, when you order so that you can get my um, Live and Stamps perks points and so forth. Um, but if your order is over 150, um, then you're not gonna use the hostess code because you're gonna get to pick Stampin' Rewards when you shop. Um, online uh, according to that chart that I showed you in the back of the catalog. So, okay, so you wanna see some other versions of this? All right, so let's see what happens if we use this paper and pop a couple of butterflies on here. We could maybe move them around. Let's have a greeting. Um, maybe we'd use the horizontal here for our yellow. We'll put a couple of these on here. So we're just doing a kind of quick layout. So there's a big butterfly, and then let's see what's what's left in our stamp case. So I have another small, small black and white butterfly. Let's see, here's a small-ish one. So these would be kind of crowded on here. Maybe if I had a bigger card, um, that would work better, but there you could go, or you could have a smaller greeting. Uh, and then this would go, of course, on a white card base. Or how about a totally different color scheme and doing one in pink. So this pink um, is the same paper here. So it's the black and white paper. That is not gonna wanna stay. Um, it's the black and white paper here uh, from the same. So all I did was flip it to the back and it's got that really awesome um, blushing, bride, uh, blushing bride leopard print, cheetah print. 
And so we could pop these, we could do, eh, I kind of like on the vertical, I like the, or on the horizontal stripes, I like the vertical twist. So we could pop these together, kind of like that. And this one says, hello friend, for something a little different. And then you could, of course, um, you know, add back your uh, little die cut blingy butterflies here like this. So that kind of gives you some other um, choice possibilities. So all the same package of designer series paper and the same um, stamp set and dies. And then here's one more. This one is um, a buffalo plaid version. And here I use the um, scalloped rectangle instead. And the buffalo plaid is also in that set of paper. So Really um, lots of great opportunities to use these pieces. Um, I'm glad you like it, Margie. Yeah, the Stamparatus tip is a good one. Don't, don't always think you have to use it in the, the frame. It has lots of great uses there, but certainly lots of good possibilities for other places too. So, all right, guys. So that is our Monday morning inspiration. So I hope you are um, excited to try something. And yeah, when you see something that you really like, hey, Pat, um, when you see something that you really like, sort of a theme, um, don't be afraid to mix it up just a little bit. So here's our uh, one from last week with our photo memory book. And then here is today's version um, done as a greeting card. Don't forget to, you know, kind of take a little twist on the things that you see that you really love and uh, turn them into um, something just a little bit different for some variety. So, and then that Stamparitis tip for the inside, don't miss that one too, so. All right, guys, as always, links in the video description if there are things that you um, need to order. I greatly appreciate your orders. And Deborah says she loves all three card ideas. Yes, they do. Like the patterns make a difference. Each one is just a little bit um, a little bit different in the way it kind of comes together. So you can kind of change things up. And actually, um, so the one that I haven't used yet, but I'm like so intrigued by the idea um, that I, you might see it from me in a card soon, is this paper. So on the back side, it's got the front, I guess if the color is the front, it's got these mermaid scales, um, dragon scales, whatever. But on the back, it's got black and white leaf print. And I think that this is going to be a fall card. That's sort of on my, uh, my list of fun creations to try is to make a fall card with this gorgeous black and white print. So we'll uh, see how that one comes out. But in the meantime, I hope you guys have a really terrific Monday. Um, enjoy your week. And I will look forward to seeing you again on Wednesday for another Maker Mornings with Meg. So thanks for spending some time with me. Happy stamping.